hello students in this video i am going to tell you preparation of ammonia gas and something about ammonia but chemical properties of ammonia in detail you will get in the next video first about ammonia gas ammonia gas is a basic gas very important its molecular formula is ns3 ns3 its molecular formula ns3 it was first prepared by a scientist joseph priestley in 1774 and in 1785 a scientist who studied in detail about the chemical properties of ammonia and showed that molecule of ammonia contains nitrogen and hydrogen that scientist is berthelot in 1800 scientist davy established the chemical composition of ammonia gas now another important point which i am going to tell you about ammonia its molecular formula ns3 its orbit structure is there like this one hydrogen atom here combining with nitrogen atom another hydrogen atom combining with nitrogen atom third hydrogen atom is combining with nitrogen atom and there is one lone pair of electron its electron dot structure is we can write electron dot structure like this also now bond structure we can represent like this bond angle is 107 degree h n h this bond angle 107 degree this is a polar covalent molecule polar covalent molecule because of this lone pair of electron it has distorted tetrahedral geometry and its shape is triangular pyramidal shape with bond angle 107 degree next point is hybridization it has sp3 hybridization and i told you this is a polar covalent molecule its dipole moment is 1.46 d d means d by unit of dipole moment dipole moment is a vector quantity next now about its occurrence ammonia and ammonium compounds are highly soluble in water this is why they are not found as minerals only in volcanic gases there traces may be present ammonium chloride and but it is not found as minerals in combined state ammonium chloride ammonium sulfate liquor ammonia that is present there next point i am going to tell you where it is found occurrence in free state ammonia gas in very small or trace amount is found in air and natural water and it is produced in soil by decomposition of plants putrefaction of plants animals and heap of organic decaying matter that produce ammonia next point near public toilet or decaying organic matter heap also there is pungent smell of ammonia gas next point is there forms of ammonia four forms i am going to tell you first ammonia 
in gaseous state ns3 under ordinary condition and second form is liquid ammonia where ammonia is subjected to high pressure about 6 atmosphere at 10 degree centigrade it changes to liquid state and its boiling point is about minus 33.5 degree centigrade and freezes at minus 77.7 degree centigrade it is highly soluble in water because it is a polar molecule water is also polar then because of dipole dipole interaction it is highly soluble in water 1 liter of water can dissolve 702 liter of ammonia at 20 degree centigrade and 1 atmosphere pressure next point which i am going to tell you their liquor ammonia fortis liquor ammonia fortis is actually the saturated solution of ammonia in water with specific gravity 0.880 it is also called 880 ammonia this ammonia liquor ammonia fortis is stored in a tightly stoppered bottle in cold places next laboratory their bench reagent it is used in laboratory aqua solution of ammonia is used in the laboratory dilute solution that is dilute solution of ammonia and that is called their bench reagent laboratory in the laboratory next point let us see about preparation ammonia is prepared in the laboratory by heating a mixture of ammonium chloride and slaked lime then point wise let us see first point reactant reactant used is ammonium chloride and slaked lime or calcium hydroxide is used in the ratio of 1 is to 3 or 2 is to 3 but calcium hydroxide should be in excess remembered remember second point is reaction ammonium chloride when heated with excess calcium hydroxide there is formation of calcium chloride yes to o and ammonia gas now third point is operators about operators there its operators consist of a round bottom flask fitted with a cork with one hole for a delivery tube flask clamped in slanting position tilted position in such a way that mouth is tilted downward in order to avoid the trickling back of water formed in the reaction to reach the hot part of the flask thus to break it then to avoid that trickling back of water produced in the reaction it is kept in the slanting or tilted position now other end of the delivery tube is can goes into the uh, drying tower packed with calcium oxide and this calcium oxide of other mouth upper one mouth of this calcium oxide was bottle calcium oxide bottle drying tower is fitted with a delivery tube other end of that delivery tube opens in the inverted gas jar inverted gas jar is used there because ammonia is collected there by downward displacement of air as it is lighter than air then i told you about operators again i am going to tell you how next point is their procedure take a mixture of ammonium chloride and excess calcium hydroxide finely ground and thoroughly mixed in a round bottom flask and heat gently 
when gently heated there is formation of ammonia gas ammonia gas goes into the drying tower now next point their drying or purification ammonia gas produced in this reaction is passed in through the drying tower packed with calcium oxide which removes the moisture present in ammonia gas absorb moisture and make the ammonia gas free from moisture next point collection the gas is collected by downward displacement of air because air is lighter ammonia is lighter than air this is why downward displacement of air method is used in the inverted gas jar but in this experiment in this preparation method some important points you remember first point flask should be clamped there in tilted position so that water formed during the reaction should not trickle back should not reach to the hot part of the flask otherwise otherwise the flask will break next point remember their ratio of the ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide should be excess and it should be properly ground finely ground and thoroughly mixed in order to prevent the loss of reduce the loss of counteract the loss of ammonium chloride by sublimation next point remember heat it gently not very strongly immediately that will also prevent the loss of ammonium chloride by sublimation next point there which we have to remember calcium oxide is used as drying agent other drying agent like sulfuric acid cannot be used because sulfuric acid react with ammonia gas sulfuric acid cannot be used because sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid react with ammonia gas to form another substance ammonium sulfate this is why sulfuric acid cannot be used we cannot use calcium chloride also because calcium chloride react with ammonia to form addition product of calcium chloride ammonia this is why calcium chloride cannot be used we cannot use phosphorus pentoxide also because phosphorus pentoxide react with ammonia to form ammonium phosphate this is why their phosphorus pentoxide also cannot be used because it react with ammonia to form ammonium phosphate and the reason is formation of new substance and phosphorus pentoxide cannot be used these are some precaution which we have to take operators should be dry because ammonia if any moisture is present as i told you ammonia is highly soluble in water then operators should be free from moisture then only we can get ammonia gas otherwise it will dissolve in even in a small amount of water and you will not get ammonia gas now this is something important about preparation of ammonia and i am giving you some very important point please learn these points thank you